I am Atul Nishar, Chairman, Agent, Overseas Education Limited. There is a heavy emphasis on infrastructure building, increasing the investment from last year's 5.5 lakh crore to 7.5 lakh crore, very significantly by more than 35 percent. And also there is heavy emphasis on job creation. So to sum up this whole budget, I can say it's all about infrastructure building and on job creation. The other big feature is the whole emphasis on digital. I want to comment more from the angle of startups and the impact this budget would have on the startups. First of all, I want to mention that the finance minister uh, described the startups as having emerged as drivers of growth of our economy. This is a huge recognition for the entire startup sector. And it's also a testimony that the government is very bullish and positive about the growing influence and importance of startup ecosystem in India. Over the last few years, India has seen many fold increase in successful startups. To encourage this influential trend, the government has extended the tax incentive that was given earlier for three consecutive years out of 10 years for the eligible startups. This incentive has been extended by one more year. So all the startups that begin over the next one year, that is up to March 23, will all be eligible for that benefit. It's also a very important feature in this budget that the R&D for defense, which is a very significant budget, has been opened up for startups in addition to for industry and academia with 25% of defense R&D budget earmarked. The startups will also be promoted to facilitate drone Shakti through varied applications and for drawn as a service. Further, the long-term capital gains on listed shares and units were taxed at 15% surcharge over and above the, uh, the long-term capital gain tax. But the surcharge on other long-term assets, including unlisted shares, went up right up to 37%. Now, all the other long-term assets will only be uh, taxed by way of surcharge at a maximum of 15%. So the unlisted shares, which is typical of uh, startups, all be taxed at the same level in terms of surcharge as listed equity at 15%. This will give a boost to the startup community by reducing the uh, tax incidence while selling the shares in a startup. The venture capital and the private equity have invested more than 5.5 lakh crore last year, facilitating one of the largest startup growth ecosystem. During the year we saw so many unicorns created thanks to this huge inflow of funds. In this budget, the finance minister has announced appointment of an expert committee to examine and propose appropriate measures to scale up these investments that signify that the government is going an extra mile to fuel the startup ecosystem. If I were to also mention the importance by way of mention of startups in the finance minister's speech. She has mentioned the word startup 12 times through the speech of 90 minutes. Again, that shows the importance being given to it. So overall, I feel this budget is extremely positive for startups and therefore it will fuel the digital ecosystem in India and create and move India towards a more modern India in a much faster manner. 
creating significant job opportunities for the youth of India, and also the multiplier effect this will have on job creation and on the economic activity will be very significant. So I very much welcome this budget as a bold budget and compliment the Honorable Finance Minister for having presented a very positive growth-oriented budget. Thank you. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.